In today's video, we're going to be testing the 77 grain Hornady Arrow Match bullets. We're going to be doing that in 223 Remington with the Stika rifle. If you guys want information on all of the equipment, components, and whatnot that we're using in the video, please check the description below because it'll have detailed information on all that stuff. We're going to be doing an entire series with the Arrow Match bullets from Hornady. We're going to be doing the 22 caliber, 6 millimeter, 6.5, and 30 cal. And we already did the 69 grain arrow match bullets with this Tika T3X Super Varmint rifle, and they shot really good. So we're gonna be testing the 77 grain arrow match bullets next. And all we're gonna be doing is shooting three shot groups, and we're gonna change the powder on each group and just go through and see how it does with all these different powders at about 100 yards. So we're going to start with 20.0 grains of benchmark powder. We're using Starline Brass, 223 Brass, CCI 450 Primers, 77 grain arrow match bullets, and then a variety of different powders. So first one's gonna be that benchmark. We're gonna go for the top left diamond, and we're just gonna start working our way down. Twenty-four twenty. 2406. 2435, so um, right out of the gate, the 77s in this gun aren't seeming to shoot as good as the 69s, but we'll see. Maybe one powder will really, really favor this bullet in this gun and it'll just shoot lights out. We're about to find out. These are all very mild charges, so none of these should be screaming, but I'm trying to somewhat keep the barrel cool, save components and money and all that, that blah, blah, blah. But anyway, um, the average velocity is 2420, extreme spread of 28, and a standard deviation of 11. So. Not bad for velocity as far as we're going with consistency. Now, like I said, all of these are going to be, they should be kind of slow, but we'll find out if I uh, accidentally overcharge some cases. Next up is going to be 22.5 grains of hydrogen H335. We're going to be going for the top of the center diamond here. 2537 2530 2565 So this is why you don't do uh, load development and have different loads in one or uh, rather two different section of, of load development in one box. <laughs> I was reading from the wrong card already. So the first group was 20.0 grains of benchmark. That was correct. I believe that's what I said, but the second group which we just shot was 21.0 grains of IMR 8208 XBR. So totally discard the fact that I think I just said that was 335 because it's not. Um, what we did just shoot was 8208. And what that gave us was an average of 2544, extreme spread of 34, and a standard deviation of 15. So my apologies, because that was totally wrong. Next is gonna be 21.5 grains of Ramshot Tack. We're gonna be going for the top right diamond. 2516 2483 2484 average velocity of 24.94 extreme spread of 33 and a standard deviation of 15 so far the accuracy in this particular rifle has been pretty disappointing as far as these bullets in this gun we shot three different kinds of powder so far so we've got a lot to go through here because there's another five different loads that we're going to play with but still just compared to those 69s not really impressed but i guess this gun just or this barrel rather might not like this bullet but who knows we might shoot a one shot group or rather a, a one ragged hole group here in just a second and totally prove me wrong which i usually try to uh instigate that by saying some stuff like this it doesn't work usually Usually I claim a rifle shoots really, really good, and then all of a sudden the accuracy just falls apart, just to prove me wrong. All right, next up is going to be 20.5 grains of H4895, and we're gonna be shooting for the left side of the center diamond. 2433. I think that was the best group we've shot. There's still a lot of horizontal spread, but it definitely looked better on paper than the other ones. 
Average velocity of 2443, extreme spread of 19, and a standard deviation of eight. So the velocity spread looked a lot more consistent. That's always good to see. So ironically, uh, the next charge we have is 22.5 grains of, uh, not in, sorry, accurate 22, 2520. Good Lord. Now I'm getting dyslexic here. 22.5 grains of 2520. That's kind of a tongue twister. Um, but yeah, the five and the two are switched. So we're gonna be going for the center of the center diamonds. 2459. 24.49. 24.45. Looked like the velocity was really consistent on that too, actually. So that one's kind of got me a little more encouraged as far as what the capabilities are here. And the accuracy was better, so that's also encouraging. Average velocity of 24.51, extreme spread of 13, and a standard deviation of five. And the group was very acceptable. I will take that. When we shot the 69s, we had one group that was a ragged hole. I mean, the, every bullet was touching, which was really, really impressive with 22 caliber bullets. That always gets me pretty excited, but uh, that was still a very good group. So, especially compared to the last ones, we will move on to, the next group is gonna be 21.0 grains of Vitivori in 140. All right, next we're going to be going for the right side of the center diamond here. 2421. 2404. All right, I guess that third shot had to go inside one of those other two because I don't see it at all. I guess I might have hit that second shot. Average velocity of 2403, extreme spread of 36, and a standard deviation of 14. Next up is gonna be 21.0 grains of Varget, and we're gonna be going for the bottom left diamond. 2417. 2402. 2422. Average velocity was 2414, extreme spread of 20, and a standard deviation of eight. So the spread was really good, but the accuracy is still nothing exceptional. I mean, it's been okay, but for the most part, it hasn't been anything to really brag about as far as having like, what should be a, a really, really good shooting gun consistently. Um, we just haven't seen ragged holes or anything, but they're shooting okay. Last group of the day is gonna be 23.5 grains of CFE 223 by Hodgton. We're gonna be going for the bottom right diamond. 2562. 2553. 2555, that was a great end. Great way to end it. So, um, I'll be honest, normally I don't really like that powder. I don't typically have very good luck with it in just about anything. <laughs> so, I wasn't expecting that to shoot better than anything else that we shot today. At all. I was really surprised to see that, actually. Average velocity of 2557, extreme spread of 9, and a standard deviation of 4. <laughs> that's what I get for making assumptions. Wow. All right. So, that's, uh, that's great. I'm, that makes me really happy, actually. So, the... One group that shot really good was the one I expected to the least, but it definitely put more confidence for me in this particular bullet and that powder in this rifle. So again, at the beginning of the video, we discussed how we're gonna be doing a whole series. I'm probably gonna make a playlist out of it with these arrow match bullets if everything goes to plan and you guys show interest in it. So do me a favor, leave a comment, let me know what you wanna see. We're gonna, we've already done the 22 cal stuff at this point. And we're going to be doing the 6, 6, 5, and, and 30 cal. So we got three more, but there's technically four more bullets there because there's two 30 cals. But we're going to be doing those in the future. Um, leave a comment. Let me know if you're interested. That's going to conclude this video. Like I said, read the disclaimer and look at the description for all that particular information below this video. But more than anything, thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate the support tremendously. I, I can't say that enough. And uh, right now we're about a week before Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you all. 
Don't forget to glorify God in all that you do. Stay risen, be safe, and we will see you in the next video.